Hey everybody, Marcus Stone here. In this video, you will learn how you can easily add a drop-down menu for your site in Webflow. So let's start. I will try to make this video as quick as possible so you just understand everything and you can do it yourself. So let's go. First, what you want to do in Webflow, double click on your navigation. Then click here on add a component and you need to scroll down. In scrolling down, you are going to find it here drop down. Just take it and let's just go up, 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 up and just paste it somewhere where you want. It's really up to you. As you can see, I recommend changing the text block and making uh, it really the same as others. So just look at the, the typography. I'm not going to change it now, but you get an idea what I mean. So now when we have this, so what you want to do is click here on settings. And I open menu and you can see it here, the link. So the first link when I'm going to click and I'm going to move my camera now to the left side. So give me a second. Like now, like here, this should be okay. You can see it here, the link field. So when I'm here in a, in a design, let's double click on it. And in drop down, you don't do anything here. You just name it like, I don't know, let's say uh, menu. Okay. But what interests us is this small arrow. This small arrow means everything. It's like, there's like secret thing in life. The most important, it's like love. Love is the most important thing in life, I think. So, but that's just my opinion. Open menu. And first, you can add link, the, the for link. It's really simple. When I'm going to click on link one, I can rename it and Let's go, I don't know, block. I will rename this work. And then I will link those pages. Contact. Let's just do this free. So we can see it here. Okay, drop down link settings. And you can go type external URL or page. And I'm going to choose page on block on, yeah, block. Okay, we have it. And we can open in this tab or new tab. So I will choose new tab. Let's go also with the work. And this is the same thing you will do. You can go also with the external URL page. And now go again. Where is the work? Yeah, work project one. Okay. And let's go with the contact. Same thing. It's really simple. Contact. Okay, we got it. A new tab. And this one will be new tab two. And this one is new tab. Yep. So we have it the drop down menu now. It's really simple, really easy. Uh, and I think you get you got it right. And yeah, I don't want to add different. And I will delete this link. So now what I will do, let's test it out. I'm going to publish the selected domains. And we will see how it goes and how it works. You get me? If it's not going to work, it's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> so let me also test something here. Yeah. 500 medium. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to mess around with these things. So, oh, I would have to do that. Okay, whatever. So let's just publish and let's see the site. Go with the menu, block, menu, work, menu, contact. Easy. This is what we call uh, peak performance. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about changing the text here right away or how we can. 16 and 28. So in the whole process, it is 16 and 28. So this needs to be 16. 
and 28 right yeah but the text block is different here so it's it's 500 medium yeah okay but the whole thing is mm, So what was the difference here? Okay. I'm I'm getting the hold of it. Yeah, but I don't know how did they make the This is what is fascinating to me. They added some box shadows, transitions, opacity changed. Yeah, of course. This? Oh, uh -huh. they changed the opacity. Ha, <laughs> my friends. So yeah, this is how we can add drop down menu. If you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments. I'll try to give you feedback and what you can do this was quite good yeah, and then i'm going to publish it again and let's see let's see how it how it seems how it works out okay menu amazing so i would even lower the 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 font there not the, the size of the text but yeah it's it's pretty cool i think yeah guys if you have any questions ask me down below in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video by the way, down below you have a link for L-Site. L-Site is really good widgets for Webflow sites that you can use. Uh, you can register, you can try it out, test it out what you like, what you don't like. And that's kind of it. So thank you, have a great day and see ya. Bye-bye.